Keep your distance! Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Schooner do me just fine. God's grace, sir. You saved me. A profusion of... Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. 
Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo. Station and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? More sail! Full sail! Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of... of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stop the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane, and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. There's not a pirate living who turned his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. All in the stunts! As much sail as you can! You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I.
very promising.